Welcome back! Even just with Veil, you're doing like 450 damage every 12 seconds with Blood Rite in a massive AoE. No, so and the it, other mechanics work. Ursa. Ursa. <sighs> okay. Yikes, lane for Darkseer if you ask me. You have the Enchanters to purge off the Iron Shell and the Surge, and then Sven absolutely loves farming against Darkseer. On top. Nice toss back here from Crit. Getting uh, Solo in under the tower. A couple of hits as well as the Blood Rite onto him. Some good harassment trade in bottom lane. They are able to kill off Zayats there. The two of them flying out easy. Uh, Ramses was sitting on about 380 move speed there, and that's just with brown boots, and that makes it much harder for Ursa to do the damage he wants. We'll see mid. An attempt is going to be made onto no one. TP's coming in to help out Crit, trying to get in a position so he can find the toss. Why not even need it straight up as GPK's got a lot of magical damage, dragging him back in. There comes the toss. No one getting low, but the Shadow Word heal from Solo. Is it enough to save him? It is. And GPK zips in, is able to finish off the kill, and VP won't be able to find anything in return there as he... Got the Veil queued up for Ramses. It is quite the standard if you have not watched Dota for the last day or so. I see mid. They're going to try and set up here with the Blood Right. Silence comes out to the two of them. Zayats did try his best to kick the DK out of the Silence, but he still gets hit by the Blood Right. No one and even gets positioned in a worse place there. Kicked into the river by his own teammate. He'll get fly in return, but again, it's another death on the DK as EG. Yeah, the issue I have with the DK, as I kind of mentioned, is that. It, since he has such a weight on his shoulders, you have to hope that, as we see another engagement here, hold that thought. Oh, NCW's going to jump down. Follow there from Zayats. They do have the control onto Crit. The three of them surrounding him. Crit up to the high ground. The Remnant hitting onto RTW, but one more jump forward with the Earth Shot. Gets the kill. Tried to turn over towards GPK. GPK out of mana, but now RTW is on the high ground. His ult still on cooldown. Will be able to run himself away from Fly Solo. Just running straight up to this. Chasing down GPK. Bringing him down low with the Shadow Word. They're linked up as well with the Bonds. Can they do enough damage to Fly to kill GPK? Doesn't look like it will be enough. It will be enough to get the end kill, but GPK will manage to walk away. Ramsey's coming in. Rupture the ready. Focus is down the easier kill. Looking towards Solo. I say that though, he's a little scared of finishing it off. As Solo goes for the TP out and will be able to make it away before any stun comes in from Crit. There's the full echo done for RTZ, so his presence on the in the fights is certainly going to be felt. Actually up here, stepping up to the high ground, no one was just walking blindly up. And uh, he has got Zayats coming in to help him out. Is it enough to save him? It is. A crit comes in from the back lines with the avalanche, holds him in the blood right. They'll drop the golem here to try and turn this one around as RTW commits with the enrage. GPK zipping out with the last bit of mana as RTW is he's having to stand his ground. He's been ruptured. The blood right coming out as he's forced to the side. Avalanche there from crit. The orchid upon him. RTW is dead. And now Solo, he's going to go down as well. RTW charges back across with a stun. There's four heroes dead. And I mean. That was just incredibly awkward there. Yeah, no, I respect you trying your you best. You know, isn't it? No, no, it's just, they understood. Yeah. They learned something today. I hope so. Here we go. No one. He's going to find a jump. Oh, it's a big jump. It's not easy. They found him. He's got the BKP though. He's going to pop it. He's now going to try and turn. He's going to go straight over towards Zayat. Zayat's pulling low to the Godstroke, but he's able to roll away. Zayat's is going to live it. RTW is in onto RTW. Wow. RTW is dead. They've got the Sven, and now RTW is charging over for more. He's over on towards Ramses. Ramses is bashed. The Bloodseeker's dead as well. This is the story of EG's games, oh, man. Oh, VP with two massive hits there. The team fight presence is just not even remotely close. And they have to go on Warlock, right? Because if they go on anyone else, they, oh. get, they get Golem. Oh, hello. RTZ, he's bashed. He's falling low. Golem's down. It's on the three of them. RTZ's got to run, he's BKP and running around now, he's going to try and turn, goes in, onto the Earth, and they've got the silence down, onto RTW, RTW getting low, the blood right will burst him, Ramses gets the double kill, but RTZ's down, no one resolution, and Solo's still strong to fight, GPK's out of mana, he's got to get out to the side, they'll look towards Fly, Fly will step out, Ramsey's trying to get back in, Crip with the combo, catches Rezo inside of the blood right, Rezo's down, it's a triple kill for Ramses as he heads charging straight towards his old captain of Solo, looking to the Warlock, Solo's trying to run, but Ramses, he's on the hunt as Solo cannot escape this man. The setup's there with the Yule Scepter. He's even going to let the kill go over to GPK as GPK comes in for the final touch onto him. Uh, you can't dodge it with anything, right, other than Blink Dagger. So he's going to make it so you can relocate yourself in the middle of the fight. LTW. We're going to see, yeah, EG try and fire. Still 20 seconds with no on the Sven. No one's found the jump onto crit on the back lines. We'll get silence. GPK, he's, he's gone straight in. 
He's just gone straight in. This is such a GPK move based on what I've seen about Storm. He right. looks like he's trying to force the engagement, though. Okay, he's going to have that second line, but the BKBs are out. GPK, he's just dead a second time. Uh... Don't don't say I told you so. And no, he's coming in with a buyback. They're coming in with a buyback. G as RTZ pots the BKB. ILTW. Oh, no, no. Oh, GPK. Oh, my God. oh, coming in from a mile off. Redeemed. Okay. Absolutely redeemed himself there. That was the plan. That was he calculated. Was Maybe he got spell amped when he ball lightning, but I didn't see it earlier. Are they going to get the tiny toss? No one's got to be careful. And they're trying to start something. There's the zipping, but no one pops the BKB. He tries to turn with the stun, but GPK zips straight back out. No one goes for the TP out. They've got nothing to cancel it. He's away. Immediate but now the rest punish. of the PP, they've been left behind. Crit chasing down. GPK in on top of resolution. RTW's going to turn. Look towards Crit, but with the rest of his BKB in him rage, RTW, he's getting out of there. He knows that this is a fight loss for VP as EG there. In with the cleanup. Man, Two he's... kills for them. Uh, EG's trying to take absolute control of this map before the next Roche spawn. Let's see what they can get. Big zip from GPK. He's managed to nice. find the target. He's straining on onto ILTW. They got follow-up to save. No he's getting burst slow. They've got him. GPK no with the catch. As ILTW out for 75. Buybacks coming out for the two of them. They'll drop the counting offering. They want to punish GPK whilst the mana's low. But GPK, he's got enough mana zip up for oh, the Hydra Diets. We'll find him with the rolling forward. He's got the silence as well. Jump four for no one. They managed to lock him down as they break through the Lincoln. Stun him in position. GPK now out of the game for two minutes. It cost them the two buybacks here, VP. Detection. And they've oh. found Fly just in time. Cancelling the TP. They'll take him out slow motion and top Zayats. He's on top of Ramses as well. Ramses. Has he got enough control, Zayats? Another Yule's onto him. They did end up finishing off Fly. A roll forward from Zayats. The Shadow Word will kill off Ramses. As it's a big window. There's no Storm Spirit for 90 seconds. So, so here we go. Oh, hello. That's Bear getting tossed in deep, but uh, he's instantly able to run himself out of there. Generally enraged. They're going to try and go in onto no one. The chaotic offering dropped down to keep it safe. The vacuum. Oh, the wall is down onto the floor. The mile TW is in onto Fly. Fly. He's going to fall on the front lines as he goes down. Ramses as well also going to die as Ramses has gone for 80. Deep inside of the base, they will manage to kill off Science in return. A buyback comes out from Fly, but a big wall combo there from, from Rezo shakes the fight up. Gets them the kill on a court. At the end of the day, they end up getting a tier three. Not bad at all. And EG looks like they want more. They want to try and catch them off guard whilst their own Bloodseeker's dead as BP. They don't expect this. They jump in onto no one, no one. Cheese and backpack. Oh. The satanic. He's trying to heal. It's oh. not enough heals from the Satanic alone as that's no one out for a hundred seconds. You throw anything at Arteezy. 30 seconds as well. And Arteezy's going to have God's strength from BKP ready to go again. And he has the Minotaur horn too. So an extra. I believe 1.75 seconds of magic immunity there. More so, I consider Minotaur Horn like a dispel. You know, he gets silenced or hit by, or it's two seconds now, I guess they buffed it. Yeah, and they know now, there's no buyback on this DK, they're pushing on. Wall's gonna get dropped down. Again, it, there's nothing oh, really to free, follow that up. Free spend for Enchantress there, just enchants this. I kind of he's trying to poke at this. He has been Lotus, still trying to play around with them all. The Aegis does come to an end, they'll zip in, RTW pops the enrage, RTZ trying to stay in on the targets, goes in with a stun, straight in on a resolution, the science as well, science rolls forward, RTZ able to, able to turn with the bash, the Earth Spirit's been caught, Solo's found as well as Crit gets it with the Avalanche. God, Sven is such a different hero with Ags, man. You ain't kiting shit anymore. Five seconds until no one's back up, but the time has been there for EG to claim a second set of wrecks away from VP now at 14k. That's all. No one. He's in with the TP. He's managed to turn Arteezy. They managed to drag the two of them in. The counting offerings back online. He drops down onto the two of them. GPK, he's dead. Arteezy, he's stunned. He's going to die as well. They couldn't get out of the base in time. Fly tries to TP out, but Resolution kills him off with the final bit of magical damage. Okay, guys, don't go too deep. We are just hitting buildings. If we go too deep and they buy back, we will just feed. Go for a second set. Yeah, looks like looks like they're confident. Uh, they're They're... Pushing the issue. There's the buybacks. Both coming out. RTW is going to be tossed in deep. He's able to jump back to safety there with the Abyssal Blade. Gets Satanic. it on crit. Crit's gone. RTW goes forward, but he's been disarmed. The BKB pop. He's focusing himself on RTW. The Jesus popped. RTW turns. He's getting the bashes. RTW is going to run. He pulled back for this. Struck back by the Die vacuum. RTW is dead. He's out of the game for two minutes. Ramses as well in trouble as ILTW beats him down. He's G gone. GPK wow. kills him. It's over. It is over. VP will take this game one. Wow. Team fight reigns supreme, man. I 
I'm going to stop betting on the team that's favored in the lanes, unless it's Secret. Because Secret seems like the only team that can turn that favorable laning stage into just an absolute slaughter. In this specific game. Top lane. Continue pressure here onto RTZ. Still been able to pick up the CS though in this lane, 11 and 2. In fact, may even find a killer as they'll turn towards Zayats. Living Armor coming out to help him out, but it's not enough heals as RTZ claims first blood here. And I'm surprised they went for this combo because they nerfed the crap out of it uh, in the previous patch that was two days ago. As Fly looks like he's going to be going down. Does indeed. Will they get the re retribution kill? Body block from Zayat. RTZ might just have this. Yeah, that's enough, I think. Yeah. Okay, so EG gonna continue to be very happy with this setup. Doesn't matter if they're losing lives up here as long as it's not RTZ's. As RTZ's finding kills in return, bottom lane, RTW and Solo will find crit. Ramsey's gonna get RTW in time in return, he will. So Ramsey's able to find the trade here on the bottom lane. And they've got four heroes down here, VP. We have no one in Zayats coming in with a wrap ram. Ramsey's trying to lead in on Solo as EG get aggressive, but there's the surprise from VP. No one in Zayats coming in from behind. Solo, is he going to fall? Will go down, but not before VP are able to get the kill first onto Ramsey's. As we saw earlier there, that was the kill. They managed to get the two of them. Zayats, no one underneath the tower. Top lane, Rezo playing aggressive, feeling confident now he's got the egg. Also with the backup of Zayats as they come in, they've got the lockdown onto RTZ holding him underneath the egg. He's trying to turn and kill it. Won't be able to do so before he ends up going down himself. He always hits the spot, you know, he's always there. RTZ was a tad slow to recognize the situation there. Uh, I've been all too familiar with this spot as we do see no one just dive and crit in the mid lane. Should just take him down, the Spirit Siphon being a ton of damage. He's getting a lot of kills, and yeah. bottom lane is getting. Ramses goes down, the dive forward onto no Rezo. Egg. Rezo trying to run away, but Fly is punching in. They'll take him out. GPK going to see if he can dive in for Solo as well, but Solo, he's back through the trees, juking it out. GPK, can he clear it out with the Remnant? He's put one down, but not really enough mana to play for this, as he has to go for the TP back to base. Fly turning over towards Zayats, but Zayats has Solo coming over from the side. There's the jump back in from GPK coming in as he's refueled from base. Solo actually dropping the ult here. Just continuing to try and waste the time off the two of them. Ramses comes in with a TP. Space. Solo turns with the last bit of life to heal up the tower, but he will still fall as he... As those two towers do inevitably fall for both squads, but both teams did do the necessary movements to slow down that process. But I would say this game's playing out about where both teams are happy with what's happening so far. Let's we'll see if they can punish no one. RTZ coming out. Does get the science on the two and tries to turn with the Cyphers. Wow. The three Cyphers, they're keeping him alive. No one's going to be able to get himself away from that entire move made by the, the the complete squad of EG. They will still dive on further forward. Still looking for no one. No one's still running away. They catch him with the chains. They will be able to find him. They have to go pretty deep though. Can VP punish this? Dive forward from resolution over towards Flyers. Fly ticks down to the Fire Spirits. VP will find one in return. Crit. It's level six. He trapped them in with the Fisher. Zayats now caught him by the Sprout. EG, they'll claim a second. GPK with a double kill. The persistent pay is off. So, so that Deso, usually when it brings him from like 10 armor to four, amps your damage by a ton, but it's different when you go from 20 armor to 14, for instance. As we see top lane. Oh, could to get the roll in. But Crit's there with the counter play, starting to lock Zayats down. EG, they're losing Arteezy though. There's some from resolution. Supernova out as well. Arteezy just straight up dead. Zayats will end up going down. But VP, they're going to be able to find the two of them by the looks of it. Crit, is he going to get out in time? The Fire Spirit won't catch him, so Crit will survive. The rest of EG's turned up. Silence out onto Resolution. They're blocking him in as well as Reza will fall. EG will make sure that they get vengeance there for losing RTZ. Oh, they, they so no EG, echo. they're heading over. Can they push VP out of the pit? Sunray heal. I don't think they can engage into this. Can they anybody, try, though. Can anybody make a jump in? On the side here, RTZ turns towards Zayats, will be able to get the kill, but the Roshan's gone now. Aegis is still on the floor, who's going to be able to pick it up? ILTW finally grabs it, now with the dive across, RTZ is burning down to all the fire. RTZ just dies on the front line of the fight, no one, he's still keeping himself alive with the Siphon. Yours is up, he's back up to full HP, no one, they can't kill him off in time. They're trying to chase ILTW, the silence from no one catches onto GPK and Ramses. Yules control onto the Death Prophet. He's been surrounded. No one left behind by the rest of his team and GPK is ready to try and dive on for more. ILTW tries to hold the high ground with the multi-shot, but they lose resolution. So EG not able to stop VP from getting the Roshan. But keep splitting the map, out farming VP. Very similar story to the first game. And quick TPs over towards mid. They want to try and punish. 
As he'll be able to use up. They catch him on the way down though with a further silence. Crit throws out a Fisher to buy some time, but there's another silence. They've just got yeah. so many silences. The TP from the DP was really important there. Yeah, if he were, if he didn't show up at that exact moment, he would have gone now. Yeah, they needed that final silence from from Yours. him, and now with the Yules to cancel Crit's TP. I mean, this is this is the power of VP's lineup. They can play very fast in return now that they've got these levels. They have their catches with the Yule Scepters, the BKB. He's still incredibly vulnerable in these fights when he turns up as the Clinks. That's Rezo. On to Sam. He should live. He's got help coming in. He's going to pop the Supernova. Ramsey's he's just going to commit with the BKB to take down the Egg. Is it going to pay off? It is. Ramsey's he's able to take down the Supernova alone. Turns over towards Zai. That's no one. He's coming in from the back though with the Ghost as he's on top of Artizi. Artizi's dead for this. No one able to swing around. Fight back with the Exorcism. And they've even got the Creep Wave in a good position down bottom. They can get some pressure onto this Tier 2 as well with the Ghost if they want. They are uh, ready to punish this long cooldown. They, The GPK is doing such a good job of forcing the defensive spells out and then getting out. Really love his item build, love the way he's playing. Let's see what they can find here, EG. Oh, no one. He stepped up, Crip. He's found the lead in with the Fisher. Tried to jump forward by LTW. He's down on the high ground. The Silence catches out GPK. He's up in the air. Back down. They've got the follow-up. He's going to force out the BKP charge from GPK. He's just got to be careful now. They weren't able to get the jump in they wanted. Fly's going to be left behind. Kick back by Zayat. He's got the heels up. Forces to the side though. Fly, can he outdo the damage from the burn? He can't with a Veil buff. He dies too quickly. Zayat's rolling in aggressively here to the lineup of EG. Trying to catch more for the side of VP. Can they get anything? He's been silenced on the side. They've isolated GPK. Another jump out to the side using both remnants to get out of there. Crit, he's come back in with the Echo Slam. It's enough to burn down Zayat's. But now he's going to get though. burned himself. Crit will fall. <laughs> like, they just have so much survivability, even just the Ghost Scepter from, from Zayash. See so around the pit, VP ready to commit with the Exorcism. No one holding his ground. EG, they're up as five. Can they do anything to stop this? Sprout out and Fisher as well, bringing no one down to half HP. Rezo diving in deep. He's going to pop the Supernova, try to create the space for them to finish it, and it'll be enough. They take the Roche, they get the Aegis on ILTW, the Overgrowth, the holding Ramses in place through the BKB. The Supernova successful. Ramses, he's trying to run off to the high ground, but the BKB comes to an end. Zayas gives him a kick to the face as Ramses falls to the floor. They get themselves the Roshan, they kill off the Prophet. VP still behind in net worth, but continuing to make these strong team plays. This is such deja vu oh, the first game. As he's, what? he's run. Whoa, whoa. Okay. Uh, Maybe a bit of an Aegis bait. Can they turn this around, VP? still. They're trying to come back in on this, but no one. He hasn't got Exorcism. ILTW from the low ground, kicking out with a multi-shot. Artesian and GPK commit with the BK, BKB. No one buys time as he self-heals with the slide of fist. Cuts him down. Zayas getting focused. The kick over onto Artesian. His BKB comes to an end. Artesian falls. GPK, he's tossed up into the air. Cuts back down. Another slide of huh. fist comes out, but they've lost three. They're all BP, dead. They've found four. GPK gets out, but the Aegis bait, it worked out. ILTW just walks into them. EG, just like us, they're like, what is he doing? They get the kill, he's but VP, genius. it was all part of the plan. And ZG will start to show bottom, leading the push with Ramses. VP may try and swing cross on this, but there, there is the vision advantage here for EG. They've got the better observer placement. Zayat, he's caught on the front, gets the Ghost Scepter off in time, still goes down. The Egg comes Albert. out from the side. They're going to focus straight towards it, though, and they've got enough hits to take it out. The Egg will fall. Now they can claim more as they go over towards Solo. Buybacks coming out. Three buybacks, in fact, from BP. They want to keep ILTW safe as he's being focused by RTZ and GPK. They've lost the drow. Zayats, can he bring these heroes down in return? The Magnetize bringing RTZ low. RTZ's trying to run. Oh. Dives across. RTZ gets, gets a final off. burst of HP, but it isn't enough to keep him alive. RTZ goes down. Down. Crit drops the Echo straight on top of no one. No one will fall. The TP and the Drow out for 70 seconds. As EG, they can look to clean up more. Sprout out onto Solo. That's a die back on the tree and diving in, chasing resolution right back to the base. He's surrounded. Crit jumps forward. That extra lockdown as he pops the enchant totem. Another self yours. Rezo trying to get himself away, but the silence is die out. Back. Rezo is down. That's a double die back. Is four heroes dead on VP? None of them with buyback available. 20 seconds, and VP will have both no one and ILTW back in the game. No nope. board. That might not be soon enough. Tier 4s are falling. The second Tier 4 down. The Ancient exposed. Okay. Is there anything Zyx can do to push them away? He's trying to get out to stop them, but EG, they're just looking to close this up. BKB is a pop. They focus the Ancient. GG is called. Huh. And EG will be able to close this game 2 up. So they go for this Invoker, okay.
And the Invoker is probably going to what? Quas Wax? Quas Wax, yeah. Versus the Amber, he can just purge off the Tornado Ooh, all the time. Right. That's what I'm kind of thinking, right? And then they just have him, and he's their tower pusher. He's their tower, like, objective taker. Dude, aggroing with Enchantress here seems really good. I feel like that would destroy a Spectre. And Ramses steps forward. Take a lot of damage here for the two of them. Could crit help him in time? He can't. Ramses will fall to that solo. I'm to just go for the straight setup as he, s he just steps too far away from his tower, Ramses. Well, and he did let that happen. I think he'll just come right back and continue what he's doing, though, so it shouldn't be too bad for him, as Resolution also pays the price top. Looks like we're just distributing deaths equally so far in the early game, as I think Fly takes the lead with two deaths of his own. Uh, Duke's coming out from Zayats. Can Arteezy find that? Are they going to have another net anytime soon on the Troll Summoner? We'll see. Is they're going to continue to chase this. It's up for a few more seconds. Zayats will manage to roll himself. Uh, tier 1 bottom. Unless VP decides to rotate a lot of heroes. Oh, they're coming they in. The TPs are coming in. VP wants to hold this. Ramsey's popping the ult in an attempt to run away. It will get him out of there. Daggers out. Does clip onto them solo. Getting turned upon. GPK just jumping in and out. Times it nicely with a remnant placement. So he has just enough damage from that one remnant burst to finish off the kill. Rams is also having the wolves in upon him as he's just the one to get the last hit precisely on it. Over towards mid. No one trying to hold back. Fly. Arteezy's there. Jumps out from Invis to surprise no one. No one will turn with the cold snap, but Arteezy and Fly, do they have the damage? He's trying to get out with the ghost swap, but they have dust upon him. Down bottom, the X pot. Crit can't finish it off. As Crit burns to the supernova, ILTW continuing to chase. Ramses, he's got nothing else to help him get out of it. Zayas rolls in as well. Ramses will fall. GPK holds the two of them back with the chains, but ILTW and Resolution are too tanky for GPK to fight back into. Over onto the high ground of the triangle, Zayats leads in. No one closes across with the cold snap. Sunray and Tornado takes out another. As well, Arteez, he's having a look from the side, but he cannot get involved. Making, he's just similar to the first game where EG was trying to delay no one on the DK, we're seeing VP just trying to make sure Ramsey's first ultimate does not get a tower. There we go, no one. Straight past the tower. He's hungry for more. Goes straight in for Fly. The and uh, ticking him down, Fly will pop. Any chance no one sees, he is straight in and on them. Dive forward from Rezo, he's ready to go in deep. There's the horn coming out as well from ILTW. Dagger out to RTZ, forcing him out to the side. They surround Crit. Crit getting burned down by the Sunray. He's trying to run away, juke him through the trees, but they'll find him. Double kill for no one. GPK's got the chains out to the two of them. Zayas, he rolls straight across there on top of RTZ. Again, Mike the cold snap behind. for no one. RTZ falling low, he goes down. Silence onto GPK. The Tornado for Nara moving the Flame Guard. GPK will finish off solo with the Slide of Fist. Ramsey's with the wrap round, that ult used, chase down one, deafening blast from no one, pushes no Ramsey to the side, but no one, he's running out of ways to escape, or is he? He's got the ghost swap, pots the stick, he's able to walk out with the invis. ILTW and Zayat still looking towards Ramsey's, Ramsey's ult will come to an end, meaning that he cannot chase any further. And EG was ready for this, they seemed really confident with their last pick, Lycan, not a hero we see too often, but it definitely made sense in the given draft scenaros that we saw, but... Not mid. Oh, GPK, he got a remnant in preparation. It doesn't even matter. The no silence is out. GPK anything. just dies underneath the tower. And VP now starting to fire out the tips. And I'm just watching VP just shut it down beautifully. Oh, is this another one here? Fly. Yep. The non-stop, man. Why not? Keep going. Just free kills, man. They have haunts, so it's really scary for EG to ever engage into them with that counter threat. They're actually going to pop the haunt here. It looks like they're hunting down on the bottom lane, looking for Arteezy. He's into the trees. He's out with the TP. If they've got to catch, they do. Solo's in. Disrupts the Clinks. Arteezy caught out. As the Clinks will fall, another kill for ILTW as both ILTW and no one hitting some good kill streaks here in the early game. Yeah, I don't think I've ever wanted. Ramsey's. Oh my god, again. It just doesn't stop, Brian. GPK is going to try and jump in, does manage to get the chains on to no one, will finally end the streak off this invoker. Can they get more out of this? Ramsey's being kept alive. They finally they falls. from bottom, they're Z coming. Zayas gets the kill, but it does cost him his life as well. They also turn EG now with the chance to strike back. Ramsey's gets the double kill, they kill off three. First. You see sure does. How, and it looks like God sees his, but he's still, he's still switching between items, queuing up the death. So, I mean, what weight does he need? Oh, Ramsey's. He has ult, but he hasn't used it yet. He's been silenced. Just so much control. He's stuck in the EMP. All his mana's gone. He's got nowhere to play his way out of there. Crit will get the lift up onto Solo. Arteezy will manage to turn and take down the Disruptor inside the river. GPK, he's focusing down. No one, no one turns with Six the tornado, tornado, catches the two of them. GPK still tries to chase. They get the dust onto no one, but they don't have any catch. No one is out and away, Rezo. 
Diving in deep, the horn comes out from ILTW, he's ready to start with the cleanup, over towards Crit, straight in science, he gets the Dustin onto the back lines, they've got the vision onto Arteezy, ILTW able to find the big target, and now swinging over to mid, can they get anything more out of this science, rolls in onto Fly, DPK having to hide in the trees, the supernova comes out, EG, they've just got to get themselves away from it all. They cannot fight here, no one. Extra setup onto GPK, playing around him with the Yules, the Tornado, the Sunray, and the Cold Snap. GPK, he's stuck, taken out. Triple kill for ILTW as well throughout this fight as ILTW and no one remain far at the top in this game. Let's see what they can get there. I mean, there's already four heroes of VP around ready to take this fight. No one broke the smoke. They're going to lead in with the Ramsey's ult. No one out from the side. The sentry will catch. No one. He turns. Gets the tornado, tornado out to pretty much the entire squad of EG. No one's still on the run, but they jump in with the remnants. They burst down solo sides. Coming in from the side with the silence. Onto Arteezy. Arteezy. He tried to TP out, but the cold snap was there from no one. Arteezy falls. They did get no one, and they will get Zayat. So EG this time. They lose Arteezy, but they are able to find three. Turned a 9k gold lead into an 8k. There's not going to be any objectives taken. Ramsey's is basically a creep now since he has no ult. I mean, they have the horn. Yeah, he's just dead. GPK tries to come in. I mean, GPK's dead as well. Yep, now what? Like, and that's a situation I mean, where that's just how bad the game is, right? VP loses three heroes. EG makes the best move they possibly could make. As you said there, before that smoke, it very much felt like, you know, EG, they've got to go for something. If they don't go for, for anything, if they don't go for these smoke movements, nothing else is going to get them back in the game. It's their only option. As their other options this game continue to, to just disappear. Fly dies in the river. Down bottom, Zayats toying with Crit. Arteezy is going to come swinging around. Will turn onto Zayats. Crit, some boulder on boulder action as Zayats will go down. But again, it's looking to be VP cleaning up the deafening blast from no one catches the two of them. Crit's able to roll away, but ILTW in on top of Arteezy. There's no save for the clip. Clinks as he falls. ILTW just storming in onto all of them, chasing down Ramses. He'll He's pop dead. the old Ramses, but he can't even get it off in time. The damage too high from ILTW. Crit ends up dying in the tree line. They, they, they're they just getting this point now where how do they kill this Spectre? ILTW just taking over. He's even looking to dive close towards the base. There'll be a buyback coming out from Crit to put him off doing so. You know, the panel was talking up Spectre as a hero. Other than her level one in lane and her late game cooldowns, she's the exact same hero she was before, and she was pretty damn good. As ILTW is beyond godlike at 24 minutes, number one net worth by. He's a gonna mile. get Moyer as well. Crit goes down, just bullying EG back to the base behind. Not just their tier two, but their tier one and tier two. He's level 20, man. He has the, he has the 400 health talent already. It's approximately 0.9 levels per minute, Owen. Yeah, this is. This really is a, a dream game for all the Spectre players out there to see. Against Clinks, it's pretty unlosable, I think, in the carry matchup at this point. Like, Clinks will die to every single haunt. He can't position around it ever. Yeah, I mean, this is just insane. The plays that VP is making non stop in this game. This is an absolute masterclass. They're already for VP. dead. Just. Uh. As Ramsey is the last one left alive. He'll go down as well. They're getting team wiped in the base. Tier 2s are still all up. VP, they don't give a damn. They're just charging in onto the high ground. EG's got nothing. They'll tap out they of this one. It. This one is done. And I mean, you, you can't. You just got to give respect to VP for that performance. That was, that was insane. Yeah.